Hello, my name is Father Joseph Hirsch, Vocation Director for the Diocese of La Crosse. I'd like to show you a simple little example that teaches us something about life. I've been playing guitar for many, many years, older than, or longer than many of you are alive. When I sit down to play, I like to just relax, even close my eyes, and just feel the music. But you know what? That's because I practice so long. What would happen if you don't practice something? For example, watch this. I take this guitar that I've been playing the other way for so many years, I flip it around. I can try to play the same thing. Close my eyes in total frustration because I can't, I can't even play something simple like, watch, watch this. You know what? I know it. I know exactly what I need to do, but I can't do it. What's the problem? I never practiced it. And that's sort of like us in our own lives. We're only young once. I, I don't want to have to try virtue. I don't want to practice chastity. I don't want to do these things because I only live once. I want to make my mistakes. Therefore, we practice, we practice doing this. And when we get to be serious about life, we say, you know, I want to be a priest. I want to be a sister, I want to be married, and I want to be a good father, a good mother. I want to be able to play this beautiful music, but you know what? You never practiced it. This is all you ever practiced. People get into a lousy marriage and they wonder why their marriage sounds like this. The challenge for us, virtue, prudence, justice, fortitude, temperance. Virtue is especially the front line for many of you young people is chastity. You practice these virtues, you will become strong. And when your time comes that you're going to need to be responsible, when your time comes that you're going to need to protect, when your time comes that you're going to need to be that great model for others, you in your life will be a beautiful song. And that will impact not only your life, but bring happiness to so many others. Thank you for listening.